Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today I'm going to talk about how to find longest increasing subsequence in n log n time. So in another video I talked about how to find longest increasing subsequence in n squared time using dynamic programming. Then a lot of viewers uh, told me that there is a faster method and some of them asked me to explain that algorithm. So in this video we're going to talk about this algorithm. So what is longest increasing subsequence? What is a subsequence? A subsequence is a sequence in an array which might not be contiguous. So a longest increasing subsequence is to find such a subsequence which is increasing in order. So the longest increasing subsequence in this array is uh, minus 1, 2, 3, 7, 9 and 10. So its length is 6 and the elements are minus 1, 2, 3, 7, 9 and 10. So in the next section Let's look at how do we find this longest increasing subsequence in n log n time. So I'll take two temporary arrays t and r. t is going to store the temporary intermediate results while r is going to store the final result. And then I have a variable length which is going to tell the length of the increasing subsequence till now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this algorithm on this example and hopefully that will help you understand how this algorithm works. So first thing we are going to do is uh, initialize my result array with minus 1. So what is this table storing? This temporary table is storing is minimum of the last value of an increasing subsequence of particular length. So let's try to understand it with this example here. So first thing I do is I just put 0 here, this index here. Then I go to 1. So my i becomes 1. What I'm going to check is, is the value at 1, which is 4, greater than the value at 0, which is this 0, and the value at this 0, which is 3. So is 4 greater than 3? It is. So what we're going to do is we're going to put 1 here, the index of 4, 1 here. And we're going to increment this by 1, so this becomes 1. And we're going to put at this index 1, we're going to say that 1 is coming from 0. So we put 0 there. So what this means is, if I had an array 3, 4, what this table is trying to store is, I have two increasing subsequences of length 1, 3 and 4. What is the minimum of the two values? It is 3. So this guy is storing that value here, 0, which is 3. I have one increasing subsequence of length 2, which is 4. What is the minimum here? There is just one value, so that's 4. So that value is stored here, which is index 1, which is 4. Hopefully it will be clear as we run through the example why we are doing that. So let's increment our i by 1. So i goes to 2. So is the value at 2 minus 1 greater than the value at 1, which is 4? It's uh, not. Is the value at 2 minus 1 which is minus 1, less than the value at 0, which is 3, it is. So this goes here. So with, instead of 0, we put 2 here. So what that means is, in this array, there are 3 increasing subsequence of length 1. 3, 4, and minus 1. All 3 of them are increasing subsequence of length 1. What is the minimum of these 3 values? That's minus 1. So this is where at index 0, we are storing value 2, indicating that the minimum, last value of the minimum of the le length 0 plus 1, 1 is this guy. How many increasing subsequence we have of length 2? Just 1, 3, 4. What is the minimum of the last value? That's 4, which is why this guy, this guy is continuing to store that. So the reason we store this is, because if you get a higher value on the right side, we can use this information to figure out where, how big the increasing subsequence will be. Let, let's continue with this algorithm. So my i becomes 3. So is the value at 3 greater than the value at 1, which is uh, 4? It is. So what we do is we put 3 here and increment this by 1, so this becomes 2 and at 3 we are saying that it's coming from 1 so this is how we use this when 5 came it checked 
is it greater than the max till now which is 4 it is or the last value so we just stored 5 here saying that an increasing subsequence of length 3 the minimum value for that is 5 which is 3 and we use the information in this table to figure out how to do that let's continue with this algorithm again so this becomes 4 so 4 is a uh, value at 4 is 8 it's greater than a value at 3 which is 5 so 8 goes here and we increment this by 1 so this becomes 3 and the value at 4 we say that points to 3 so till this point the length of the longest increasing subsequence is 3 plus 1 4 and to get that value all you have to do is this value is 4 not 8 sorry the index of 8 which is 4 so all you do is go to this 4 so this is an answer 8 then follow this value 3 so you go to 3 3 is in the answer 5 value follows 3 value 1 1 is the answer 4 and then follows 1 value 0 so 3 is an answer and 0's value is minus 1 so you stop let's increment our i by one more so i becomes 5 it's a value at 5 2 greater than the value at uh, 4 which is 8, it's not, is the value at 5, 2, less than the value stored at, uh, stored at 2, which is minus 1, it's not. So value at 5 is somewhere in between. Notice this is a sorted array. I mean the values of this is sorted. The value at 2 is uh, minus 1, value of 1 is uh, 4, value at 3 is 5, and the value at 4 is 8. So notice how this is sorted. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the ceiling of 2 in this array and replace that value with 5. So ceiling here will be at this point. Ceiling of 2 in this array is 4. So at 4, so at 1, we put index 5. And from 5, we are saying that 5 is coming from 2. So this is 2 here. So if my array was 3, 4, minus 1, 5, 8, 2, the minimum value for the longest increasing, increasing subsequence of length 1 will be 2, which is minus 1. The minimum value for the increasing subsequence of length 2, the minimum of the last value for the increasing subsequence of length 2 will be 2, this guy. The minimum value for the length for the last value of the increasing subsequence of length 2 plus 1 3 will be 3 so that's 5 and the minimum value for the length of a last value of the length of subsequence of length 3 plus 1 4 will be 4 which is 8 so we still store that information in this array so next let's go to 6 so 6 is uh, value at 6 is not greater than value at 4 and the value at 6 is not less than the value at 2. So it again falls somewhere in between. Let me put the values of this guy again here. 5 is uh, 2, 3 is uh, 5 and eight, 4 is 8. So again we do a binary search here to find the ceiling of 3. So that is 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace this 3 with this 6. And in the 6, we are saying that in the 6, we are going to put this value here. So that's 5. Now, let's increment it one more. The value at 7 is 12, greater than the value at 4, which is 8. So we directly put this guy here. We increment this by 1. And at 7, we've put 4. Value at 8, which is 7. Uh, not greater than value at 7 which is 12 value at 8 is not less than value at 2 which is minus 1 so it got to be somewhere in between so we find for the ceiling and the ceiling for this will be 4 so we replace this with 8 and from 8 we are saying it comes from 6 the value of this guy value of this guy and finally uh, let's introduce 9 so 9 the seed 9 is not greater than uh, value of 7 which is 12 and it is not less than value of 2 which is, uh, uh, which is minus 1 so we look for the ceiling of 9 here which will turn out to be 12 so replace this with 9 
and then the 9, we say that it's coming from 8. And finally, value at 10 is uh, greater than the value at 9, which is 9, so we put 10 here and increment this to 5. So, and increment and put the value 9 here. 9 is coming from here. So, this is it. This is how we applied the algorithm. This is the length. Length is the length of my increasing subsequence will be 5 plus 1, 6. And to find the actual value, we go to this guy 10. So, you go to 10. So, 10 is the answer. So, so value at 10, which is 10, is the answer. Then you follow 9. So, you go to 9. So, 9 is in the answer. Then you follow 8. So, you go to 8. So, 7 is the answer. Then you go to uh, 8. So, you follow to 6. So, 3 is, uh, 3 is in the answer. And then you follow 6. So, 2 is in the answer. And then you follow 2. So, uh, then you follow, uh, then you follow, uh, sorry, it, you followed 6 to 5, and then you follow 5 to 2, so minus 1 is an answer, and then you follow 2 to minus 1, so we stop at that point. So this is your longest increasing subsequence of length 6. The runtime complexity is pretty straightforward. For every element, what we're doing is, in the worst case, we'll do a binary search, in a tree, which is also of length n, so the runtime complexity will be n log n. The space complexity is O of n to store this result and this result. Hopefully, this helps you understand how this algorithm works. The code is in the description section of the video. Please like this video, share this video, comment on this video, check out my GitHub link, and check out my Facebook page. Thanks again for watching this video.